nothing to say right now And I don't care who hears I wanna live my life to the fullest Yeah, move past all my fears Here we come, here we are Now clap your hands with me Say you will, say you can So clap your hands with me Sometimes you'll feel like you're all alone And there's nobody else around Hello everyone and welcome to the Sandbox Game Stream where we have a super special stream happening today. We have the Game Maker Fund AMA. Make sure guys that you are asking your questions throughout this stream in the chat so we can add it and have those answered at the end of the presentation. We're going to be going into a lot of really, really cool stuff. So I hope you guys are hype. I hope you're excited. I already see like 80 of you in here right now which is absolutely amazing um once again please do drop those questions down into the chat uh ready uh to 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 have those questions answered i messed that up um anyway i'm gonna be passing you over to nicola who is going to kick us off with the presentation Hi everyone. Um, so for everyone, my name is Nicola. Uh, I haven't yet met all of you. I joined uh, the Sandbox this year as Chief Content Officer. Um, I'm still keeping it open because I really want to learn about our community, uh, who you are, what you like, getting up to speed before really coming out there. So um, with, with that aside, outside of the presentation from today, I would love to invite all of you to get in touch with me. Eventually, I'd love to get on calls or meet in person, every single one of you. Uh, I have a lot of respect. I'm very honored for being a part of this group. I know it's a big responsibility uh, to support you, represent you. And I really stand by the fact that this group, the creators are the sandbox. So uh, why are we here today? Today, we want to uh, start a new journey that will empower uh, your minds that are shaping our metaverse. Uh, by introducing a different approach, a new approach, so that creators can earn based on engagement. Essentially, we want the Sandbox to be a platform where you can, you, you're just not being successful by being recognized by us or by the community or by player, but you're incentivized to be successful. And so we want to reward you for players' uh, interactions with your digital creators. Um, next slide. Anyways, our, and, and then next again, we're a little bit behind, but our creator community, our community keeps growing. Uh, today, we have over 130,000 creators uh, that are experimenting with the game makers uh, that are being active on the platform. We have uh, a one woman team, we have families, we have small companies, all the way to large corporations. And we're really seeing a variety of users playing, testing, playing and building on the game maker. Last year also, as you know, we opened the sandbox to everyone. And now you can buy land, you can build, you can publish. So we're implementing new solutions to give creators extra access to land. For example, by providing game gems when they're with a plot. Ultimately, our goal is that the map becomes thriving, living, something fun, something that you really want to be a part of, either, either as a player or as a creator. Uh, and obviously, with these changes, having more experiences on the map, having more creators joining, made the system that has built GMF so far not scalable. Not scalable. I would say not ideal. Um, so today we have, uh, as of today, we have 500 over 500 experiences on the map. Uh, and in 2023, we greenlit 70 GMF experiences out of 1,000 asks, 1,000 applications. So our goal here is to bring something that is more equitable, more adaptable, uh, more fit for the group that you are and for how many people want to be part of this program. So that's why today we are announcing, where well, we're launching the new Game Maker Fund, which was announced during Creators Day, and it's now almost ready to be deployed. 
Uh, in the new GMF, we're still green lighting application, but the main change that you'll see is the introduction of an engagement send pool that will reward you based on how well your experience is received by the community. Mathieu and PJ, well, PJ will really explain all the details in the next few slides. Uh, I hope this will be a great boost to create, to be creative, to be innovative. I also want to make a caveat before we move on with uh, the details. We spent a lot of time, we did research, we did analysis. How can we set up this in the best possible way to the creators, for the creators? But as you know, the community is critical. So we're open to experiment. We want to hear what you think about it. We want to hear your experience and we want to hear what works with this, but also what might not be ideal. So we think this is a great start, a great V1 for this program. This is a strong foundation. And then we eventually want to have something that will really make you successful on the long term. So with that said, PJ. Thank you, Nicola. Uh, this is why we're proud to announce the very first dedicated event for creators, the Builders Challenge, where we will reward creators based on how well you will engage players. Now, let's go jump into the details on how that will work. So the Builders Challenge, all creators with eligible experiences will be able to earn with the Sandbox. The event will last 10 weeks from February 12th to April 22nd, and there will be up to 1 million Sand Rewards. All creators will be rewarded. We will cover eligibility rules in the upcoming slides. Now, we've designed this reward system around two simple rules. The more people play the the more people play on your game and spend time in your game, the more you will be rewarded. The more experiences are published on the sandbox map, the more uh, the bigger the reward pool gets. Now, how does this translate mechanically for creators? The way this translates is that creators will earn a percentage of the weekly reward pool depending on how their experience uh, their experiences player engagement level compares to total player engagement level throughout the whole map. For all creators that don't really feel comfortable releasing their games at the beginning of the event, don't worry, we got you covered. Midway through the event, starting on week six, we're gonna double every week's engagement pool if we see a hundred new experiences on the map. Now, let's go deep dive into how your earnings are gonna be calculated. So your earnings will be calculated by taking the percentage of the reward pool and multiplying that by the total reward pool for that week. So let's say you capture about 10% of the player's engagement that week, that, and that the reward pool is 100,000 sand. That's 10,000 sand for you. So how do we calculate the size of the reward pool? We wanted to make sure that the more experiences are published on the sandbox map, the bigger the pool is. So we're multiplying the total number of eligible experiences that week by a flat 100 sand. And that will be 200 sand starting on week six if we see 100 new experiences on the map that week. Check out the reward pool. Check out how it's determined. All right. I'll see. You could go to the next slide, please. Thank you. Now, we're going to determine the percentage of the reward pool by taking your experience's meaningful playtime and comparing that to the total meaningful playtime across all experiences. So here's how your meaningful playtime is determined. It's the average playtime of your players. It's the average playtime of your players' experience multiplied by the number of visits done by players that have completed at least one quest in your experience we wanted to reward both experiences that attract a lot of players and in which players spend a lot of time in. I know this is a lot of information to take in in one go. We will be launching an article to summarize all of this very soon, as well as give you more detail before the launch so that you're able to calculate your potential earnings as best as possible. You'll see everything in our dedicated FAQ. Now, let's check out how you can be eligible for rewards. So how do I make sure my experience is eligible for rewards? Well, first of all, 
you need to have your sandbox account KYC and you need to be over 18. You of course need to have a wallet set up in order to get those rewards. You must accept the sandbox's terms and conditions and you must have your experience saved on GameMaker 0.9. One concern that we had from our the, the Twitter post showcasing our first article about the new GMF was how are we going to handle cheaters. One measure that we're setting up is that only accounts that have been open that have opened the game maker on the on seven different days will be eligible for rewards. We're also making sure that we keep things fair. And so experiences that are currently in sandbox events will not be eligible for rewards. Accounts that are owned by sandbox employees and by sandbox IPs are also not eligible for rewards. And of course, your experience might, must not have been banned by our sandbox moderation team. You might have a couple of questions on some corner cases that we have. For example, what if I'm a student and my experience is published on my educational programs land? Well, in that case, you're eligible for awards. But what if I'm a game jam winner and my experience is published on the land of a brand of IP? Do I get rewards? Yes. And what if your experience was previously, previously financed by the GMF? Am I also allowed to get rewards there? Yes, you're allowed to get rewards but only if your, finance, if your experience was financed before 2024. Now, on the other side of things, just uh, double down. So what if I'm a brand that has an agreement with the sandbox such as Talk? Am I eligible for awards? No, not in those circumstances. And what if, I'm a, what if I have an experience that's in an ongoing sandbox event? No, you're also not eligible for awards. Neither if you're a sandbox, experience have been banned. Cool. Now, moving forward, what's your timeline after this event? So we want you to get ready for the launch on February 12th. We're very excited to see what you guys are going to create. We expect to be distributing the first rewards by the end of February. We want to see the awesome stuff that you guys have in mind. Right. We're so happy to see you guys join us all tonight, and we can't wait to see you uh, in the metaverse and to see what you're what you're going to build. We hope that you're as excited as us about this new system. Thank you for having us. Now, if you have any feedback, please let us know. We want to f we want you to feel heard, and we want to know how you feel. So, Panda, do we have any questions in the chat? Am you? It's because I was typing. That's why. Great. Uh, yeah, so we've got loads of questions. Um, for, special thanks to Alex for putting them in, and please keep uh, asking your questions. Uh, so the first question we have is: What time frame uh, does the Game Maker Fund have? Does it have one year, two years? Asked to buy Popeye I'll take that one. So at the moment, what was announced on the Hong Kong Creator Day was that the GMF time frame would be of four years. And we have over, we have 100 million sand to distribute. Excellent. The next question we've got is, where will I get my earnings? Okay, so you will be able, just like in regular sandbox um, events, you will be able to get your earnings on the claim page. How can I see how many players have visited my experience? Okay, you, this might have gone under the radar, but we have a brand new analytics page that's right next to your experience page, where you can check out the session length, how many players have visited your experience on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, and on a monthly basis. So you can see the progress that you have with your experiences engagement. I absolutely love that. That that's really exciting. I didn't even notice that. I'm yeah. That's 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 fantastic. Um, 
Is the milestones based at Game Maker Fund gone? What will happen to the Game Maker Fund projects that are ongoing or works in progress? And that is from Galador87. Okay. So the milestone based GMF uh, isn't done. For now, it's just on pause as we're unveiling this new system. We still want to finance a couple of experiences in 2024, but for now, this is something that we will look into a bit later. How much should creators expect to spend to make token gates for their game as the main monetization mechanic? Would you mind repeating that question? Uh, yeah. How much should creators expect to spend to make token gates for their game? Oh, okay. So I, uh, I can rephrase I this slightly. It's, yeah. it, it's, it's, too, it, it's a separate monetization option that you don't you have. It is not tied to this, right? You're yeah. not expected to have any monetization mechanic in this. But if on double it, you want to do token gating, great. Like if it makes sense for the experience, do it. Yeah, that's a great response to that. It's a bit of a separate thing there. Um, can I'm going to skip that one as well. Um, can these slides be made available to us? Yes, they will be. We are going to be writing a Medium article summarizing all of this so that you have all the information. Uh, when will we get a dashboard for our published experiences? I think that was what you were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh let's that was done earlier dow selection how is this a dow if there is a selection so the selection i'm guessing here refers to the eligibility rules our eligibility rules at the moment are set up in order to avoid any potential cheaters so it's to be fair for everybody and so that is levels the playing field uh, we actually will be introducing later in the year more DAO elements linked to the GMF. At the moment, uh, you, this was also in our Creators Day announcement. We are introducing a DAO in 2024, and the GMF will play a key part in that. Great answer. Um, are the visits based on unique player IDs by Satellite? <laughs> That is a very good question. At the moment, I do not have an answer for you. Uh, and we will address that uh, question in the Medium article. Let's make sure it's, it's published, uh, the answer to this question, so you, you know exactly what it is. Yeah, this will be in our FAQ. Perfect. Yeah, I feel like that's, that's quite a good question there. Yeah, um, very good question. How will the creator track player numbers in the game? So I'm guessing that's from the dashboard that was mentioned already. Yes. Uh, what systems are in place to stop bot accounts running up the play numbers? So at the moment, what we are setting up in order to detect bot accounts is for every reward that we will be distributing, we will be checking the top 100 experiences. And our anti-cheat team will be making sure that we do not detect any suspicious activities. And if we detect any suspicious activities, that experience will be banned. Um, Crypto Kusha would like you to explain what meaningful playtime is. Yeah. So we are measuring your experience meaningful playtime by taking the average playtime of your experience. So let's say that across all your players, the average playtime is 20 minutes. And we are multiplying that by the number of visits done on your experience by players that have completed at least one quest. So yeah, this will be also summarized in the Medium article. Excellent. Um, how does KYC work for studio accounts? KYC for studio accounts uh, works just like for players. You can put in your individual personal uh, details there. Uh, 
I'm skipping past just a few of these, just because they they mention the same things. Um, Your Wolf says that they're confused. Is the payment going to happen at the end of the month or the pool season? We want to have payments done on a weekly basis. That's our objective. We just believe that the first payment, as we will be checking a lot of things uh, to make sure that there are no issues with cheaters, might be a little late. But throughout the whole of the event, we are our objective is to do weekly payments. All right. Um, this is a good question uh, from the gold one. They said, if they're starting fresh with learning Game Maker and everything related to it and creating experiences, are they still going to be able to keep up at this point in time, or is it too late? I uh, I think it's a great time to start, like with the with the with the, the new latest version of the Game Maker. Uh, this changes. I really. Uh, and and now how welcoming uh, this community is, I think it's a great time to start. Maybe I can comment that also. Um, we are aware that you might be new to the Game Maker, to the Sandbox uh, environment, and we have prepared uh, along the Builders Challenge a lot of educational content. So every week you should expect um, outreach from us, especially on social and emails with a step-by-step -step to start building the sandbox with educational content, written tutorials and more. So yes, it's definitely a great, um, a great start uh, if you are part of this uh, builders challenge. That's, that's exactly the objective. We want you to be the first to build the first 1,000 experience in the in, in the sandbox. So uh, super excited to be able to also help you along the way with a lot of educational content. Yeah, I'm also just going to quickly add to that as well, that we actually have multiple Game Maker and Vox Edit streams on Twitch where we educate users on how to use all of the tools available, um, how to create experiences very beginner friendly, how to make very simple experiences to start with and add additional mechanics to um, increase uh increase the gameplay within your experiences so and we have a full schedule you can look at the twitch schedules to find out what content is being streamed so there's loads of content there for you to be able to go uh learn and yeah great time to learn if you are completely new uh to uh the game maker uh you can see in the game maker latest version which is the 09 there are a lot of templates you can start with to build your experience. So start with that. There are there are game mechanics in it, and it's a great way actually to see uh, yes, game mechanics start with a genre that is uh, is appealing to you, and it's, it should be easy. And next we have, will there be a support channel for the Game Maker Fund related questions moving forward, like a Discord channel or just something somewhere? So our ambassadors and our community managers have been briefed about this. Uh, you will be able to get answers from your question to this. We are so are hoping that our dedicated FAQ will cover a lot of the topics that you have. Perfect. Uh, so a question from Iratos um, is, the analytics section is going to tell us if we are inside or out the payment per month, like a weekly report, if we are one of those eligible experiences. So that they're sort of asking, like, will there yeah. be something to show that they have reached the criteria to be eligible? So we're working on this with our team so that your experience can have a blue check so that you can know if you're eligible or not. But following the different criteria that you have, if you know that you follow all of them, you should be eligible. If at some point you do not receive your weekly payments and you know that your experiences are eligible, there will be a way for you to reach out and say, hey, I didn't get my payments. Uh, I thought I was eligible. What's up with that?
Perfect. Um, Sapolite has another question, which is how do you think this will add innovation and breadth to the availability, available experiences as opposed to the creation of a multitude of experiences that just copy the top 10 games? That is a very um, good I think, question. I, I think I've worked a lot in other big games platforms and I see that when you open it, open it up, yeah, there will be people that copy and maybe improve incrementally, but something new will come out, right? You've seen it in mobile. There's been uh, new genres and new game play styles and new categories of games that eventually come, dethrone, and become what's popular. So uh, I think instead of having decision makers within the sandbox that tell you what is good and uh, what needs to be funded, giving you all an opportunity to make something that the audience really wants and really want to play and and innovate from that will work better that is at least our stance today as i say like we want to see how this works so you know maybe yeah there's a chance you're right and we're wrong but that is what we believe so far we'd like to test this for the next uh, few weeks and see what the effect is on the community all right. Uh, next question is by Tom Voxel, which is how is it counted in the case that there are no quests? So if people make experiences like galleries, uh, where people could spend a, a lot of time there, but there's no quest to to sort of meet that that criteria. Mm -hmm. In these circumstances, we recommend you put at least one quest in your experience, even if it's a very easy one to finish. So uh, just like a visit this point of interest quest. Yeah. Yeah. yeah find, find this one painting in the museum is my suggestion for that. Yeah. Um, so from a rash selective, if an account completes one quest on their experience, uh, do we consider it as a meaningful playtime? Can that account slash player replay the game? Does it count as two? Do they get two rewards? Mm, I'll have to think about that one. Uh, that is a very good question. I I don't I won't be able to give you a proper answer on the spot. All the question that we're not able to answer today, uh, yeah. we we will have, we will post them and we will tell you what the answer is. Yeah. We are getting close to the end of the AMA section. There's just, I can see there's a few more questions being pasted into the sheet right now. Um, but I do want to just say thank you for everybody that's been here. And uh, look at that, we're over 100 viewers. I haven't been keeping an eye on you guys, but that's amazing. And we're going to finish off with these two final questions. Um, and then just sort of end the stream with a thank you from everyone. So the final two questions is NFT Wu says, will there be a function that allows creators to check whether players perform missions like Alpha Pass? Okay, I'm guessing in that circumstance, he means will we be able to see the completion rate of quests? Uh, to my knowledge, I do not believe that the current analytics page allows you to check that out, but I will pass along your feedback to our product team. Yeah, that's a good one. That would be good to see whether how how much people are completing um, when they visit your experience. Uh, so the final question is from Rex Roach, which is, do we have forms to sign up or any experience published is automatically entered into the Builders Challenge? There is no form to sign up on. Uh, all experiences are by default put in the Builders Challenge. We would only be checking eligible experiences. Excellent. Okay, so we've got... That's, that's the end of the AMA. Woo, we did it. There we go, we did it. Um, how, how amazing was that? Everybody seems really, really excited for the Game Maker Fund AM, uh, not AMA, we're in the AMA. Uh, Game Maker Fund, um, the changes to it. Once again, thank you so much to uh, UPJ, Nicola, Matthew for being here. 
Um, I don't know if you guys want to do any closing statements or anything to the community. Um, yes, I think sure. I get to be so first. Uh, thanks for being so welcoming on my first AMA. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big coming out. Uh, you will see me more, hopefully. And uh, uh, we, we look forward to hear either keep sending us information via social, keep talking to us directly. Let's test and let's see how this goes. We're really excited. Ultimately, our goal for us is that as many uh, creators as possible can start benefit from this. And this results in a bigger, stronger community and platform that has larger outreach. So um, we hope you we hope you like it. We hope you're excited to try it as we've been in setting it up. And we look forward to hear how it goes for all of you. Awesome. Um, well, with that, once again, everybody, everyone in the community, thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to tune in to our other streams. We have one this evening hosted by Alex, who is going to be going over some Game Maker stuff. How, how great is that? We've been talking about Game Maker. He's going to be going over Game Maker. Um, so make sure to tune into that. Check our schedule. Make sure to follow absolutely all of us on social media. As always, have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the metaverse. Goodbye from me and goodbye from the whole of the Sandbox team. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>